So several people have been asking to for me to share my story, share my journey, and you know that comes with it a uh, level of fear, level of um, vulnerability. Uh, it's something that's very near and dear to my heart and personal um, to put out there on such a big scale. But uh, the only way when when you approach fear, the only way to do it is to go right through it. So hopefully, you know, that's some some kind of inspiration uh, that you can take on your path. So I had always had uh, this this very big desire uh, for this great connection uh, with a woman, like you know, just like this incredible chemistry and. I've been all over and, you know, had many different life experiences as we all have. And, you know, had, I've never found, I've never found it. So, uh, not too, not too long ago, I had been you know, looking for a new job and, uh, I was a chef. So, um, this interview came up that was kind of far away. Uh, not really the particular, you know, type of place that I wanted to go or work at. And I was just like, uh, whatever, you know, I'll, I'll just go on the interview. Uh, it'll help me sharpen my interview game as I'm, as I'm going on more and more. And so I drive all the way down there and, uh, eh, I'm not, it's, you know, it's in the back of my mind, like, well, I don't really want to be here, but the guy really likes me, and, you know, he's like, oh, I, I want you to, you know, come on, come in back in for a chef test, and I'm like, oh, cool, yeah, fuck you, you know, that's, that's not what I want to do at all, and around that time, I had just been just kind of like given up on on finding this connection. You know, I had it. Uh, I had bits and pieces of it uh, with different women, but never the whole thing. You know, there's uh, women that I wanted to have that whole connection, but it just wasn't there, and it wasn't going to be there. So I go on this chef test, and I just kind of you know, doing, doing my thing. And I'm getting really frustrated and pissy because, uh, it's, it's like hard to find the things that I need and they don't have the ingredients and that, that I was looking for to form my, my menu and build my courses around. And I'm all but like ready to just walk out the back door, uh, give up. I think I was like three quarters of the way through this thing. And I'm just like, not. Nah, I don't know about this. Um, and almost immediately uh, as I was thinking that, uh, this girl walked in uh, to the and went into the office, and she worked there, and she was very cute. I was, she was very very beautiful. Uh, not the typical uh, type of girl that I normally would go for. Um, or have been with, uh, but she was very beautiful nonetheless. And I remember having this uh, voice in my head saying that I need to know her. I need to know this person. And, you know, I'm in the middle of a really bad day chef test that is not going well for me. So why why is this happening? Why is what am I in fantasy land that this voice is popping into my head telling me I need to know a particular person like this that that has never happened to me before uh maybe I mean maybe if it did I just kind of like uh pushed it off to the side or you know any any kind of uh 
direction like in that manner i don't i don't believe it had ever happened to me before but i just kind of like shrugged it off and um chose to you know finish out this test and just let the chips fall where they may right because i didn't really know if i wanted to wanted the job even if i got it so i'm just gonna finish this one out for me and you know move forward so a lot of things had to align in order for me to get this job because it wasn't like super cut and dry as just getting hired. And miraculously, they they wanted to hire me and they made an offer. And I still didn't want this job. I still wasn't sure if I was going to accept it. And so when they called and asked if uh, I wanted the job in my head I was saying no but yes came out of my mouth for you know at the at the time uh, I had no particular explanation for that now all the while I had been you know thinking about this girl not in the sense that I needed or wanted her but in the sense like why why was that voice telling me that I needed to know her and on my first day, and, you know, my first few days, actually, um, there was a click, and there was instant chemistry, and there was a gravitational pull that I had never experienced before. And I've experienced that click and that spark, but I had never experienced... Um, and I just kind of thought like, oh, well, I clicked spark with anybody, you know, have clicked and sparked with people or women before. So what's the big deal? But there was a there was an undeniable gravi gravitational pull between the two of us. And so much so that uh, it was noticed by the people around us before we actually noticed it. And the more that um, they brought it to our attention and the more that we tried to deny that that were true, uh, the, the more of a spectacle they created to really alert us to the fact that uh, there was something going on between us. Um, now, in the weeks and, and months um, following that, right, like I, I just, I didn't really, really know like how to approach it. You know, she was, she had a boyfriend and she was 10 years younger than me. So I was like, I have this, I have this chemistry with this person and it's great. And, but she's so young and I, I don't really know, you know, I, I'm not really sure that this is, this is, uh, real because I've experienced uh, chemistry with other people and it was just maybe maybe it'll go away so in the weeks and months that followed it was not going away and it was getting stronger and our bond was developing um, in, at such a rapid pace that we were uh, constantly together at work and we would stay three, four hours after everyone left and just sit sit in the office and talk. And there was just a level of uh, being home and being safe. And there was this, this communication of not really being afraid to be ourselves. And there wasn't there wasn't any fear that we were going to judge each other. And so we were able to go like in very, very deep communication. You know, not just like uh, surface level stuff. And of course we had uh, <clears throat> just, you know, our little quirks and of, of communication here and there of uh, how, how we went about it. But uh, the underlying messages were always 
of expressing our values and and our love to one another and you know as that grew we came to a place which was kind of a turning point where you know she had she she came to this place where it was like we f- i guess we both came to this place right and and from my end it was wow i i really love this person i there's there's i've you know i've never um we've never uh, been physical you know intimate uh, intimacy or had any intimacy or been a uh, physical but i'm so in love with her I'm so uh enamored by her and from from her viewpoint it was she had been in a relationship for 2 plus years and was still currently in a relationship for 2 plus years and she said well how do i know just some stranger that i've only known for a few months that i feel like i've known my entire life and the boyfriend that i've had for 2 and a half years i don't know him at all i don't know anything about him and i know you uh more in 6 months than i than i ever had with anyone else and so like that was the turning point uh where you know she broke up with with him and we started dating um and if you can imagine that uh, all the people around us who were pointing out uh the connection we had and pointing out this thing between us prior to us dating uh then you can imagine what it was like when we started dating which had to be kept secret because we weren't allowed to date we weren't allowed to be dating per company policy so that just got magnified by like you know millions and it was just pure fascination on their part like people just would like to watch us they just sit there and watch us so that's how fascinated they were by us and how curious they were by what we shared together and what we had together so together we made the numb skull decision for me to go out and get a new job get something that suited my 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 skill set my talents and you know something that could that in my mind was to provide more for both of us or maybe for a family or take that next step and that was not entirely what i wanted i you know i certainly didn't want to not see her every day and that's not entirely what she wanted she didn't want to not be together every day but that's the decision we came to and we were going to you know make it work but that new job was not what it seemed to be and as it started to rapidly deteriorate uh so did i and i made a choice based on uh the protection of her to that i didn't want her to be um exposed to what was happening i didn't want her to, you know i was in uh this really bad place in this in this new job and it wasn't wasn't going very well at all and for me it was a uh, a real struggle to like keep that together and i made a choice based on um separation and i i didn't want her to be affected by this at all so i made a choice to leave her out of it and not you know express that part of myself to her and i consciously made an a decision to keep that separate from her 
And in that decision, she made that same choice. And within uh, not very long time, uh, she was standing in, you know, in my living room telling me that she didn't love me anymore. And she was bawling her eyes out. And she didn't know why. And she couldn't figure it out. And she didn't understand. And there was no explanation. And she was crushed. And I was 100% annihilated. Almost to the point where I was like just catatonic. Standing there uh, as she like just cried nonstop for over an hour. And I, I didn't know how to fix it. We didn't know how to fix it. We didn't understand what was happening. We didn't know how to fix or understand anything that was, that was going on. And as we would glance over at each other to put the pieces together, it, there was nothing... There was no answers. So, even in the conversations following that, there was, we couldn't figure out what was going on. And, you know, that was an enormous, like, off, enormously awful time in life like it was a bad time like things were there were dark days there for both of us not just you know not just me not just not just her but for both of us there was dark days and i started to after a certain amount of time like pick myself up and try to pick myself up and I I was like I I should really be over this or I should I should really move try and move on or you know if 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 this connection uh that I now know exists because that's what fulfilled that desire I know it exists so maybe I can have it with someone else and all of these answers that I kept finding were not true. It wasn't possible for me to move on from her. It wasn't, wasn't possible for me to find that connection with somebody else because that's the only place it exists. So I started doing some research, right, because this is... I, I didn't know, I didn't have any answers. And in order for me to move on or do something or do anything for that matter, I needed to have answers. And I started researching twin flames, uh, or not twin flames, I stumbled upon twin flames from researching how, how I was feeling. And I came, you know, ran into... Um, Jeff and Chalia, and I started working with Jeff and Chalia, and I started uh, diving into myself, my inner self. I started healing myself, and I started really, really, really rapidly healing myself, and really, really, really noticing rapid progress within myself. And this is, this isn't just for me. This isn't just something that I can have, or it's just a select few people can have. This is for you. You can have this too. You know, as union is imminent, you take that first step, union is imminent. That's how it is. You know, that's what, that's why the, the experience has been had. 
is to show you that you can have this. Just all you have to do is go inside yourself and heal these upsets that are occurring. Don't have to you don't have to be a victim to all of this. You don't have to let this uh, form the rest of your shitty life. So make the choice, you know, make that choice. This is what you want. This is what you truly desire in your heart. If you want love, you want true love, and you know it's not coming from anybody else because it's not. Then do it. What's stopping you? Right? Uh, visit asoneguidance.com. Uh, check out coaching sessions. If that's if this is really you know something that you desire, you know I can help you get there. And if you still have uh, certain questions and and stuff like that, I I have an e-course that you know provide you with all the fundamentals that you need to point yourself in that direction to really start uh, making progress on your journey and the first three lessons of that are free so <clears throat> you know I I really hope that um, my story has has uh, impacted you in in some way, shape, or form. Maybe been an inspiration or or given you uh, some some little little nugget of truth. Um, but as I have faced my fear in this video, I urge you to face yours. And I urge you to go after the things that you want. I urge you to go toward love. I urge you to have it all. All right. Much love to you all. And I will see you next time.